Master the Future, Understanding Passive Voice with Will. Hello, English language learners. Welcome to another exciting lesson. Today, we are delving into the world of passive voice, specifically, the use of will in the passive voice. By the end of this lesson, you'll be a whiz at constructing sentences with this form. So, let's dive right in. The passive voice is used when the focus is on the action, rather than who or what is performing the action. With the modal will, we can express future actions or intentions in a passive form. For example, the dinner will be prepared by John. Here, the emphasis is on the dinner being prepared, not on John doing the preparation. So, how do we form the passive voice with will? Quite simply, it follows this structure. Will plus be plus past participle of the main verb. So, if our active voice sentence is, John will clean the house, the passive version would be, the house will be cleaned by John. Now that we've learned the theory, it's time for some practice. Try converting these active voice sentences to passive voice. 1. She will paint the picture. 2. They will build a new hospital. 3. We will present the project next week. Remember, the focus is on the action itself, not who is doing it. So our passive versions will look like this. 1. The picture will be painted by her. 2. A new hospital will be built by them. 3. The project will be presented next week by us. And there we have it. You've now mastered the use of will in the passive voice. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try using this structure in your daily English conversations and you'll be a passive voice pro in no time. Until our next lesson, keep practicing and happy learning.